Father God. The Mass intention this morning is for the repose of the soul of Heather Benish. And the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have been very sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done. Seek the victory beside me on my throne. 
He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. Who harms not his fellow man, who takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. Who lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was, but he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hi. Good morning, Father. What if someone walks up to you and says, You make me puke? <laughs> <laughs> Not a good thing. <laughs> but that's actually Jesus, what Jesus said to the Elysians. You make me throw up because what you do is you're not working with me, you're lukewarm, I gotta spit you out of my mouth. So, we don't want to be spit out by Jesus, because that's the end of us, not good. That, but he came for those who seek salvation, like Zacchaeus. Yesterday we had Jesus going into Jericho, and uh, there was this miracle there with a blind man, and today he is someone who is blind, but is looking for some help in a, in a spiritual way. And so this Zacchaeus looking for Jesus, and Jesus comes to him. Anyone who's looking for Jesus will find him. Jesus comes. It's like the prodigal son. After he comes back, the father was out there looking ahead. And when he saw him in the distance, he ran towards him. This is who our God is. He's looking for us. Anyone who is looking for him will find him. And this is what will, will happen. Today we have St. Elizabeth of Hungary. She was a little beautiful little thing. And she was promised in marriage to a prince in Thuringia, which is in middle of Germany today. And so when she was three years old, her father, the Hungarian king, sent her, well, with a UK, USPS, no, he sent her with a carriage to uh, Germany. And there she was and grew up under the tutelage of the prince of uh, the king of Thuringia. And she got her to see her future husband, who was uh, three, four years older, he was seven. And so together they grew up, of course, with nannies besides them. And she was looking for God. She really didn't care so much for all that I do, which women sometimes do with jewels and crowns and all that kind of stuff. So she was always looking forward to praying and doing good to others. And she grew into a beautiful young maiden. They got betrothed. And all his relatives, his relatives says, she's supposed to be a nun, get rid of her, get a real woman. This is, I will trade her for a mountain of gold, he says, because she is just what I need, she is heaven sent. And so there, they start to live together, and had three children, a boy and the two girls, and she raised them up in the love of God. What well, she did, she had a great love for the poor, and so she 
gave whatever she had. There was, uh, yes, her husband had four principalities, and he was the uh, ruler of them. So she, he got income, and he gave her an income from what was for. So he used all the, she used all the income for her for building hospitals and taking care of the sick and the poor. Personally, she went there. The most repugnant sick people, she would take care of and bathe and take care of them. And hygiene was very, very progressed in those days, so she had a lot of work to do. She also took care of uh, some of the vestments, made vestments for the church, and she did an awful lot of things. She brought bread to the sick and hungry. And one day, her husband came back from the hunt, and he saw his wife, you know, with a big cloak, and uh, she was seemingly under a bird. So he, and she was walking into town. So he said, something is not right here. <clears throat> so he went over there to her and opened up her vestments. And there was roses in there. But it's in the middle of the winter. No roses usually bloom. Mm -hmm. uh, so he took one of those roses and kept it as a keepsake for until his end, the end of his life. But she was able to keep on going and distribute the bread which she carried underneath to the poor. She was loved by all peoples except those who lived in the castle. And it was no wonder that when he died, he was only 27 years old, mm -hmm. so he went on the crusade and near Sicily, there he fell. So when the news came back home, she, well, her husband's brother kicked her out because she was no good and she was given away all their possessions. So he was very happy. So eventually there was a bishop who stood up for her and says, you can't do this, you know, he apologized to her and that I reinstate her. So he apologized, but she never, she was never led back into the uh, castle. <coughs> so she was looking around, being homeless basically, three children, and well, she was looking for something how to work for God and serving the poor. Her spiritual director eventually moved from where they lived to Marburg and she wanted to follow. He says no, but she followed him anyway because that was her only stable uh, connection to God. And so when she came to Marburg, she had a little house which she would get at herself and set it up again, get the children ready, and started working and serving the poor. She loved the coarse outfits which she wore and gave all the good things to the poor. That was her thing. She loved the poor. Sometimes you see her in a statue where she opens up her coat and there's the, the roses inside. Sometimes you see her giving bread to the poor. She did a lot of miracles. And when she went to prayer, that was her love. She loved to pray. And when sometimes people saw her coming from the church, they saw her glow and her eyes were like, like light, light in her eyes. And they knew there was a special lady. She consecrated herself to God totally and made herself an oblation to God. And yesterday we had St. Margaret of Scotland who turned to be 70, 47, 48. Well, this one today is Elizabeth of Hungary only turned to be 24 when she passed away from this world. But she was lukewarm. She was very hot. She was very insisting. She was ready for God to do anything she could help the good Lord here on earth in serving the poor. Well, not everyone is called to that, but everyone is called to do something. And each one has to use the gifts which they have for the glory of God and for the salvation and help other people find salvation and take care of their temporal needs. <clears throat> especially for our country. Bless us and keep us in your grace. Help us to sort out all the evil that is afflicting our, our country. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear We pray for all the sick and the shut-ins. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear We pray for those who have passed away, especially those in the book of remembrance. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear Any conditions back to all? For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, in your kindness, open your ears and listen to the voice as we speak in the voice of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Bless 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, so become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for the wine and work of human hands have become our spiritual bread. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise of the Lord. Your son's work of boundless charity, made by the example of blessed Elizabeth of Hungary, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, our mighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us a sure sign of your love that, and that after your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayer sustains us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Salvation of all the world. 
be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Benedict XVI our Pope Emeritus, Don Lord Bishop, the Order Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to their passing on this life, give kind of witness to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ the Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Save his command and form it by teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we do forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously Grant your peace and unity in accordance with you, and will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you may take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, this is how all will know that you are my disciples. If you have love for one another, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of Blessed Elizabeth of Hungary, who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Praise the mighty God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, come upon and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, the witness of God, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with you in the prayer, and to God, which is the heavenly host, by the power of God, trust in the hell Satan, and all evil spirits who brought about the world, seeking the world of souls. Amen. I'll leave you good. Success. Saint Joseph. Holy holy angels and saints. May the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the soul of the Lord be with our heart. In God, rest in peace. Amen. If you like, we continue our prayers of exorcism. The faith is coming for the people. <clears throat> sufferings and good works to thee, so that thou may purify them, sanctify them, and present them to thy son as the perfect offering. May this offering be given so that the demons that influence or seek to influence the members of the auxiliary Christian organs do not know the source of their expulsion and blindness. Blind them so that they know not our good works. Blind them so they know not on whom to take vengeance. Blind them so that they may receive the just sentence for their works. Cover us with the precious blood of thy Son, so that we may enjoy the protection which flows from his passion and death. We ask this to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. We are protected against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with you in the morning of the grave, and with thy words and thy foremost, by the power of God, cast in the hell of Satan, and now all these spirits. Angels of God, my guardians here, to whom God's love commits me here, ever is the day of my sight, to light the guard, to rule the guide, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, Mother, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for the world of God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. God the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. God of Christ, only begotten Son of the Eternal Father. God of Christ, incarnate Word of God. Blood of Christ of the New and Eternal Testament. Blood of Christ, falling upon the earth in the agony. Blood of Christ, shed profusely in the scourging. Blood of Christ flowing forth with the crown and with thorns. Blood of Christ poured out on the cross. Blood of Christ, price of our salvation. Blood of Christ without which there is no forgiveness. Blood of Christ, the Eucharistic drink and refreshment of souls. Blood of Christ, stream of mercy. Blood of Christ, victor over demons. Blood of Christ, courage of martyrs. Blood of Christ, strength of confessors. Blood of Christ, bringing forth virgins. Blood of Christ, help of those in pain. Blood of Christ, relief of the burden. Blood of Christ, 
Christ solace and sorrow. Save us. God of Christ hope of the penitent. Save us. God of Christ consolation of the dying. Save us. God of Christ peace and tenderness of heart. Save us. God of Christ pledge of eternal life. Save us. God of Christ freeing souls from purgatory. Save us. God of Christ most worthy of all glory and honor. Save us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Save us, Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Thou hast redeemed us with the blood of the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting and lasting God, who has appointed that only be God the Son to be the Redeemer of the world, and has been pleased to be reconciled unto us by his blood. Grant us, we beseech thee, so to venerate with solemn worship the prize of our salvation, that the power thereof may here on earth keep us from all things hurtful, and the fruit of the same may gladden us forever hereafter in heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, we beg thee for the grace to remain guarded beneath the protective mantle of Mary, surrounded by the holy briar, from which was taken the holy crown of thorns, and saturated with the precious blood and the power of the Holy Spirit, our God in angels for the greater glory of the Father. Amen. Amen. August, Queen of the heavens, that is the sire of the angels, thou who from the beginning has received from God our tradition, fresh as I have seen, we humbly beseech thee to send thy holy angels, so that I may that man and through that power may be pursued in the peace and not at the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 